hey musicians, you really need to know what it is that you need in order to perform well. It's time that we stop being apologetic for our mode of learning. I have something for you. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see just what it is. Let me ask you if this sounds like a familiar scenario. You show up somewhere where you're going to be performing and you have an amplifier. You need to plug it in, right? But there's nowhere to plug anything in and you didn't bring an extension cord and there might not even be any electricity. And then everybody else who doesn't need to plug in or have electricity is like, oh yeah, I didn't realize, oh yeah, that's right, you're gonna need to uh, plug in, right? So that's an extreme case. And I mean, that does happen. That's happened to me several times, but that's understandable that you would need electricity in order to perform, right? Let's back it up a little bit and go into a scenario that I find just as limiting when you're just expected to show up and play by ear, but you're not the type of musician that plays well by ear. My problem is I don't know how to tell if we're doing good. I'm really talking about myself here, honestly. I don't play well by ear. I have been in situations so many times when, you know, I was just expected to show up and the songs that I would have to play would be told to me that night. All right, guys, uh, listen, this is the blues riff and B. Watch me for the changes and try and keep up, okay? And I'd be like, okay, I need some music. I need like chord charts or even better yet, sheet music, because I do know how to read sheet music, but you know, it's like, oh no, we're just gonna all wing it. <sighs> I don't do well in those situations. This is the only way I can help. Maybe if I hit my head against the ground. That's worked before. Not because I'm not good at my instrument, but because I am aware of, I don't wanna call it my limitations because Everybody just learns differently. And within the musician community, I think it's time that we start acknowledging this and affirming that if you're not a play-by-ear virtuoso, then you're not c to be considered a serious musician. Like, that's not true. Like, I personally need sheet music. I don't have a strong ear. However, if I'm learning something, I do need to see the music in order to wrap my mind around pitch wise what is going on. However, I also need to listen to the music to get a feel for the rhythm and the vibe and the groove as a bass player. I need to feel the groove. I'm not as good reading the groove off of the page as much as I am the pitch. So I have very specific needs, but over the years I have learned to really dissect and figure out what goes on in my head, what goes on in my processing system in order to know how to be successful. So that basically means that I need to voice what I need because if I just show up and everybody expects me to play by ear, that's also on me, you know? I need to say, hey, I'm not that kind of musician. If that happens here, my eyes will fall out of my head and I'll die. Recently, I was asked to sing harmonies and I was told it was a very specific harmony. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, other than knowing what key we were in, I didn't know what the harmony was that this person had in mind that was so specific. So I was like, can you show me an example? He's like, no, 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 we'll figure it out. I'm like, okay. And you know, we get there and I had no direction and I was told that this person wanted something specific. So I'm going into this situation knowing that I'm probably not in this person's head, so I need more. Furthermore, when I'm singing harmonies, I need to really lock it in with muscle memory in order to really feel it. Because vocally, I have to feel the melodic or harmonic lines instead of just kind of like picking it up. It's metacognition. Metacognition means the understanding of how you learn. You know what? That applies to students in school or even college. Why shouldn't it apply to musicians? We each have our own unique process of learning music. <laughs> 
I never thought I'd say this to you, son, but you may be overthinking this. The song has to be perfect, Ron. When you're expected to just go, don't feel like your inability to just go reflects on you and your skill level. It doesn't. It means that you need to really outline what you need in order to perform and perform well so that you can perform with confidence and really feel good about yourself. And so what happened was I told them, one, I, I need more time to learn a harmony. And two, you know, like we were just going into this cold without really any practice. And I said, I need practice. Not only do I need more time to really absorb the melody, I didn't even really know any of the songs that we were playing. I needed to set other people's expectations of what I can do and be very clear, okay, this is my music metacognition, how I learn. And I need you to understand that in order for me to be successful and all of us to sound good, I need you to be aware of the fact that I need sheet music. If I'm singing harmonies, I need a little bit more time to submit it to muscle memory within my vocal system. It's just how I learn, okay? I've been doing this a very, very long time. I've had tons of training and regardless of all the training in the world, I still know what I need to be successful. Just because I'm not a virtuoso and I can't just go and fly doesn't mean that what I have to offer isn't valuable and really good. And I can say that with confidence because I've gotten to the point where I own all aspects of my learning process and my performance process. And that's really my advice to you. Just know your music metacognition. What do you need in order to be successful? That's all. Was that a new mix? It sounds way better. See, just needed to clear your head. Okay, so that freebie I was talking about is down below with the link to it. It's a free three-day video series and it's just a few things that I think are really valuable to level up your skills in kind of a holistic way. Like we talk about a little bit of music theory, just a little bit of music theory. Uh, we talk about a little bit more about your understanding who you are as a musician and just a few other skills that I think are pretty valid to make sure that you feel as a whole confident. So if you liked this video, then please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.